So over the summer, I purchased new tires for the BMW and I immediately noticed a vibration, uh, especially in the rain on the highway. What that ended up being was my control arm bushings were pretty much shot. And so by replacing the control arms with the bushings, it reduced a lot of that vibration but I'm still getting a little bit of vibration. It's now November. And so I'm gonna go ahead and replace the thrust arms. The thrust arm is another piece of the suspension that has a ball joint connected to the wheel hub assembly and then a bushing that's connected to the frame. Okay guys, so I just got the top nut on the ball joint side loose. That was incredibly difficult. I was using a 24 millimeter wrench and it's pretty long. This wasn't doing anything. This actually kept slipping off. I was thinking that it might be a 23 millimeter, but I don't have anything that's a 23 millimeter, so I'm not sure. Uh, this was actually a little closer to the actual size. It's a 15 16th. First, I uh, used a little bit of penetrating oil just to loosen it up. And then I took the 15 16 and with the closed end, I put it on the actual nut, hook this on there, and then this, the connection or the combination of both of these gave me enough torque to actually loosen the nut. Okay, so these next bolts here, this one bolt, it's an 18 millimeter on both sides. So I was just able to remove the old control arm off the car. Uh, it took a little bit of work, but it wasn't too difficult. Two things I noticed immediately is that this ball joint is much looser than the new one. And this end, these are the hydraulic uh, or the fluid filled bushings. And I noticed this previously, but it had been leaking a little bit. So you can see Maybe hard to tell, but it's rusted around here and on the other side as well. So you could see a little bit of fluid coming out and it was just, it was starting to corrode. So I figured that it was starting to leak and that's something that does happen with these. So here's somewhat of a solution I think I may have found. Um, you're supposed to stick this into the top slot and then that, this is supposed to stop the actual ball joint from pivoting when you tighten down the nut. The problem is I can't put this into a socket because nothing is fitting in between here. This is way too close of a gap. So I'm gonna see if this works and uh, if I can torque this down. Okay guys, to tighten this back on, I ended up using this 22 millimeter wrench. You can see here I've got this vice grip with that Allen key piece in there holding it together. And I just essentially would hold the vice grip with one hand and then spin this with the other. Um, this did slip off multiple times, so you have to put it back together, but it does hold it down enough that way you can crank this nut down all the way to the point where once it tightens up against the ball joint, you don't need to keep this on here forever. Like I think at, at this point, I can just start tightening without having to hold the vice grip. <laughs> 